Welcome back everyone. You may be in a weird position in your life right now where for some reason you may think that you actually have a virus on your iPhone. Now I will tell you there are, in my whole entire lifetime, I have never personally seen an iPhone virus. I have heard about them but they are so rare and so few and far between that most probably you don't have a virus on your iPhone and if you do it's still totally okay. There's still ways to recover your device so I wouldn't really freak out about it too much. And most probably, and most probably, what you're experiencing is some sort of, you know, malicious ad. Some people who, you know, are trying to get you to sign up or call them or whatever for you to get them data, for you to give them your personal information, or for them to use it for bad things. As long as you never called somebody, as long as you never talked to somebody, most probably you're going to be fine. So. First things first, if you see some sort of thing that comes up on your screen like this, maybe usually it's through Safari browser or whatever, it says, you know, urgency action request and it looks like an Apple website or whatever, this is completely fake. This is not something that's real. And if it looks anything like this, like if you just look up in Google iPhone virus, you'll see a bunch of these images. Here's another one that comes up all the time and there's tons of them. So if you see anything that looks like this, even if you see, ever see a pop-up on Safari that ever, you know, says a virus or whatever, it's completely fake. I would not worry about it. As long as you can swipe out of it, you're perfectly fine. Now, there are cases where sometimes you'll have like 50 ads of pretty much, you know, just like, oh, this virus, 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 virus. In that case, all you'll have to do is pretty much just hold down your Safari tabs like this and just close all the tabs or close both tabs or whatever, and then pretty much move on with your life. Now, that is probably for 99.99% .99 of people who are actually watching this video. It's not really a virus, it's just something that's temporarily, it's just an ad basically. Now, let's say you think you do actually have a virus. Let's say you put your phone down and it does things randomly. Let's say it just, you know, opens Safari and goes to the app store and does random things then yeah, most probably have a hacked iPhone. And a couple ways that happens is, let's say you go to a third party website on Safari, and let's say you try to you know install a tweaked app of some sort. We've talked about tweaked apps a lot on this channel. There's only a couple of places that offer them for, you know, for real. And if you go to a random website that you know promises Snapchat plus plus or Delta emulator or whatever, and it doesn't seem like a legit website, well, if you actually install that profile, they may be installing some malicious software in the background too. So as long as you never installed a tweaked app on like some random, random website, then you should be okay. But, but if you did and then you experience your iPhone being weird, then that's one case where you actually may have like some sort of a virus on your iPhone. Now, the other thing is, is that sometimes if you actually do jailbreak your iPhone, I've seen this, I've heard of this a couple of times. If you, you know, installed a random tweak that, you know, did something random, but it's from like an unverified source and all that stuff, you know, from anybody, I've personally jailbroken a lot of iPhones. I'm sure a lot of you have too. Most probably if you go the random route and start installing random tweaks that have unverified sources and stuff, that can also, you know, cause a lot of damage to your iPhone and potentially get you a virus. So really the only way to get yourself out of this is to pretty much do a factory data reset and pretty much back up everything from your iPhone and then basically restore it. So in this case, because if we do a full backup, it's going to be backing up that virus as well. Your best bet is to manually back up as much stuff as you can before actually resetting it. So this means all of your photos, all of your apps, all your whatever user data, most probably all your apps luckily will have your data stored in them with their accounts. So if you, you know, PUBG or Fortnite or whatever, you don't have to back those up because it's already logged into the cloud and all that stuff on their server side. But you know, for things like your photos, for videos, for anything like that, you know, iMessages, just go into your settings. You, you wanna go up to your iCloud settings up here, not up there, right here. And you just want to back up as much stuff as you can. So click iCloud and back up as many of these things as you can as you want to as long as your storage permits. And then from there, I would recommend doing a factory data reset by scrolling down, going into general, scrolling down into reset right here and then you know erasing all content and settings which is right here. Now this will delete everything off your phone so make sure you back up everything before you do it but those are really the only ways, that's really the only way to actually delete a virus from your iPhone is to fully you know delete everything off your phone and move on from there but I will tell you viruses are very very rare. Apple makes it very very hard for you know any hackers or anything to try to get data from your iPhone so believe me you most probably don't have a virus you probably just have some random ad that came up so you, I wouldn't even do anything. I wouldn't even freak out about it too much. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. 
Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.